He's an independent leader and he's the state representative from District 105 here in Louisiana. Ernest Wooten is my guest today. And Ernest, we're talking about uh, a lot of things. And, and, and when we were off the air, we, we spoke about a couple of things that you wanted to bring up. I, I, I want to reemphasize my website. That's it. Yeah, that's okay, key. Okay, because I, I, I don't have the money for TV and radio like my two major opponents do. Uh, but my website is key to my election. Okay. Uh, I'm asking people to go to WootenUSSenate.com All right. and pass it on to your friends. Mm -hmm. If you like what you see, if you like what you hear today, mm -hmm. please, that's my way of doing it. I, I Just go to my website. It'll lead you right there and listen to the words I have. Wonderful. And a lot of people don't realize, you know, these the big politicians, they've got this kind of money. Why is it? I know it's television. I know it's radio. I know it's newspaper. But why does it take millions sometime to get elected? That seems a little I'm shady gonna, sometimes. I'm going to prove that wrong. Okay. I'm going to use the social networking. I've spent a few thousand dollars my own money. I've raised a few thousand dollars. Yeah. But we're going to beat these millions. We're going to beat these people. Okay. And contributions, you can give contributions on your oh, website yeah. also. On my website, right? there's, there's a little place that says donate. Right. Much appreciated. <laughs> Good. Much appreciated. Uh, but back to what we were saying, you know, about the two-party two -party system, system yes, before. Sir. You know that the leadership that we have now is from the left. Okay. Okay. Mr. Obama, the president, is leading from the left, yes. way to the left, a right. lot more to the left than people anticipated. And, you know, my friend Charlie, Charlie and I have been friends for 35 years, but the Democrats have so much money invested in Charlie, it's going to be hard for him to vote his conscience. Okay. Okay. And, and that's unfortunate, maybe, but he has voted for the president many times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on the right side, Mr. Vitter, I challenge him to say what he's done for the state of Louisiana. You know, his voting record is conservative, right? ultra conservative. That's what he wants. He projects that I am conservative, but what have I done for Louisiana? Right. Okay. And, and he can't come up with a whole lot. He did his first positive commercial I saw over the weekend. The rest have been totally negative. Uh -huh. Okay. And, but where's his character? All right. You know, I, th this man had th th this madam in Washington had his phone number. Yes, sir. Okay, and and I people ask me all the time. I said, well, I don't think she would have had his phone number if he used her services one time. Uh huh. You know, and, and and that speaks volumes. You know, to his morality, to to his principles, to his character. Uh. I don't know. Uh huh. To me. Look it's sad of the when a man with this character or lack thereof can raise $11 million in today's country. You know, what does that say for America? Louisiana has to stand. We have to stand up. Right. He is the issue in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. We have federal. We have national issues. We're spending way too much money. We need jobs. I talk to college kids all over the state, and they're worried about the investment they're making in their future and there's no job. And together. staying here, and staying here okay. in our state too. Right. We, yeah. we, uh, what? Uh, let me get. Let me get. Get you off on something else because it just hit me. Wetlands. The. the oh you know, well. You're, 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 of you're, course, you're, that's you're, that's a local issue here. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The, it's a local issue where I live. Right. The but coastal. it's a statewide issue. Uh huh. People don't. And they're realizing more and more with with every hurricane when we lose more that it's a statewide issue that it's a sales tax issue. Levees, coastal restoration, a statewide. If we don't protect what we have here, mm -hmm. okay, we lose. This moratorium is going to prove, okay, we not only lost jobs, we lost revenue. We lost state sales tax. tax. I was in Union Parish a month or so ago. There's 1,500 people in that parish that were affected by the moratorium that work offshore. My goodness. Okay, so what does that do to their economy? And if it's right. 1,500 in a small parish like Union, how many are from, from Caddo and Rapids and parishes like this? Correct me if I'm wrong. It, people don't run, understand that government, for instance, you were a sheriff. Your sheriff's office depended on 
oil revenues uh, on oil taxation taxation to those to right. those oil companies correct oh so, yeah so, very, very so, definitely so the the, the state, state government the our local and state government gets hurt not nearly as much as people think but the the, the revenue from oil is very very important to the state of louisiana mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. moratorium was a sad sad thing mm -hmm. sad thing there was no need for it if the proper regulations had been followed by the federal government if mms had done their job had right. done their inspecting had right. this might not have happened right this right. might not have happened uh -huh. so we so we're, we're going to be hurting but but you as a as 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 the new senator would would be able to get in there and kind of Especially if 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 y'all take over the house, if 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 the house is taken over by some conservatives and and the senate is taken over by cons some conservatives, we'd be able to tell the administration as an hey. independent. If it's a very close majority in the senate, uh -huh. close 48, 49, an independent's going to have some bargaining power. There you go. You know my vote, and and I will. I'm, I'm a very conservative independent, but I am an independent. Yeah, I will not switch back. To the Republican Party, mm -hmm. there's no way. Out. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to say one other thing. Go ahead. That Mr. Vitter's avoiding. Okay. You know he had an aide called Brett Brent Fura mm -hmm. that was convicted, pled guilty to three misdemeanor charges of a woman. Mm -hmm. He stabbed her. He strangled her. He kept this man on his payroll for two years. Mm -hmm. He'll answer no questions about that. Mm. I challenge you. I, I, I'm saying, Mr. Mr. Senator Vitter, wh what about Brent Fuhrer? You know, why won't you tell us what he did for you? Okay, he worked for you for two years. You get on the Democratic Party for driving an SUV, okay? How much did you pay this man, Mr. Fuhrer, for two years with taxpayer dollars? Right. And you flew him back and forth from Washington twice to face DWI allegations. I, there's questions he won't answer that nobody will ask. I'm not afraid of him. He yeah. doesn't intimidate me. Right. You know, he, he, he doesn't frighten me. In fact, he kind of disgusts me. Mm -hmm. now, it, it, st step up, David. Answer the questions. I understand. I understand. So we've got an election coming up, what, November the 2nd? Is that November correct? November the 2nd. Yes, sir. How Two many miles are you going to cover between now and then? As many as I can. You, you I, I've, I've put thousands and thousands of miles on my vehicle since August the 12th, I mean July the 12th when I started. July yeah. 9th was qualifying and I started that Monday. Uh -huh. And uh, I've been a lot of places, talked to a lot of people, and a lot of people are looking for somebody to vote for. A lot of people want a choice. Yes, sir. And I'm offering them that choice. Go to my website, read about Ernest Wooten, listen to what I have to say, call my peers. Call anybody. Check me out. Uh, again, I'll say, don't take my word for it. Look at your record. Look at my record. Speak to my friends. Make your decision. I'm here. I'll serve you well. Great. So that's November 2nd. Yes, and, sir. Uh, and state senate. Uh, you're, 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 you're state representative now, and you're, run, you're going for senate right now. Yes, sir. You're going for the United States Senate. And there's only two in the state there's of Louisiana. only two in the state of Louisiana. And you want to be number one. I want to be <laughs> one of the two. Good, good. Anything else? Because we've got to close out in about a minute. Yeah, I want to thank you, and I, w I, want, to, I want to thank the station. Uh, I want to thank the owners of the station. May I mention him by name? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Mr. Yes. Mr. Baldone, yes, I, I want to thank him. He's a Ford assist, and Jamie. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, when you don't have the resources, opportunities like this are rare. So I was here an hour early. I was ready. <laughs> you were. I'm and ready, and thank you all so and, very much. And you're much. wearing the red, white, and blue, too. That's right. That's, me. That? That's me. And you have okay. a pin on you, too, a lapel pin. Yes, sir. I, I, I've had that on since the troops came back in 91 from Desert Storm. I was sheriff. I bought 1,000 and gave them out. I wear one every day. If I don't have it on when I leave the house, I go back and get it. You're a two true patriot. Thank you so yes, much, sir. Ernest. Good luck. With Thank you also very much. Come back and see us, okay? Thank you, sir. And you come back in just a minute. We'll close out with something right here on Accent LA.